Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Even though that I already made a video about Edgespice, how to import a MOSFET from a design, a MOSFET designed by the company. However, in this case, I will show you the um, model of MOSFET in Edgespice where we can manipulate the parameters of the MOSFET ourselves, like the length, the width, the uh, transconductance coefficients, and etc. And in order to understand that point, here I already opened the uh, wiki about MOSFET of Edgespice help. I will put this link in the video description. Please check it out. Now I will have a brief summary about what's happening in this in this help. I won't able to explain everything, but what are the essential points? to use, I will try to convey it. So as they say, they will have two types of symbols, name, which is the NMOS, NMOS3, PMOS, and PMOS3. And there are two fundamental different types of MOSFET in Edgespice. The first type is the monolithic MOSFET, and the other type is the vertical double diffused power MOSFET model. In our case, we will mostly use the monolithic MOSFET, which is the traditional MOSFET. If you want to know more about vertical double diffused power MOSFET, please Google it and you can see the difference in the structure. But in the normal case, in the MOSFET that we usually introduce in textbook, I guess it will be the monolithic MOSFET. And for the monolithic MOSFET, we will have two type of statements. This is the first statement for describing the nature of the MOSFET. What are the connections? For example, like drain connection, gate connection, source connection. And this is usually like NB. NB means bulk connection. But if it's zero, then it means ground. The bulk is grounded. And the name of my model. And the second statement is to specify the parameters of the mods so you can if you haven't watched the dot model about diode in Spice, please watch it i also put it in the video description please check it out somehow this one is quite similar so you you have the dot model you have the name of the model and you have the type of the model this is the type of the model which is n mods, and KB is one of the parameter. It means transconductance coefficients. So this is our first type, and for the second type, vertical double diffuse power MOSFET, they will have the same syntax, not the, the same syntax, but we can understand it. And there's also two statements one to describe the connection of the MOS to the external circuit and one to specify the internal parameters of the MOS and in this case we don't really care about this model we care about this monolithic we care about the basics first and uh, you can see that the MOSFET model card the MOSFET model card the model card usually means this one this is the model card of the monolithic MOSFET and this is the model card of the vertical double diffused power and you can you can read through this paragraph they explain some parameters over here and then they also say that there are some parameters belonging to the process and there are some parameters belonging to the characteristics of the MOSFET deduced based on the process parameter. Let me try to search for it. I can control F and search for process. Okay, here. They say there are some parameters belonging to the process parameters. Process parameters it seems like how they construct the MOSFET, the doping, the gate oxide thickness, and from those process parameters, they will deduce the other device parameters like the 
initial threshold voltage, or they call it zero bias threshold voltage. The transconductance lambda, lambda means the channel length modulation parameter phi and gamma. In order to understand them all, of course, if we go a little bit down in this tab, we will see they specify the definition for those abbreviation names. But here, in this case, I just want to introduce that not all of the parameters belonging to the MOS itself. There are some parameters over here. For example, like, uh, let me check. Let me check. Uh, process. Yes, process. Those parameters belonging to the process, they don't really belong to the characteristic of the MOS, but all the characteristics of the MOS will be deduced. The LT spice will deduce those characteristics based on the under, like the hidden mechanism in LT spice. Okay, and one more thing, they say that um, there are levels for our mouse. <coughs> so you can see there are level model. And in our case, we will mostly now just use the level 1, 2, and 3. The more popular level is the 4, 5, and 6. Level means it specifies the hidden mechanism of the uh, MOS. So here we specify, yes, we specify our MOS, but the hidden mechanism is specified within the ATSPICE and also the parameters statement of the MOS will specify the level of the MOS itself. To my understanding, I'm not sure what is the what is the fact, but I'm just saying about my opinion. So my opinion is the level should depend on your model card over here, how you specify the characteristic of your MOS and also there will be a hidden mechanism based on the ATSPICE. Sometimes we need to have newer update of the LTSPY model, LTSPY software in order to support higher level. My LTSPY may be outdated. So in this case, I was just um, talking about this one, two, three. And for the level four, five, and six, etc., I will introduce you how to find them, how to import them, but I cannot show you the testing of the model because I'm not sure whether my LT spy is able to handle this level. But on the surface, we need to have the surface. We need to import the model. We need to find the um, parameters for the model. I will show that in the next video. So please check it out. And here you can see MOSFET level 1, 2, 3. Those are the parameters. Those are the parameters that you can specify in the statement here. Dot model of the MOSFET. So if you have time, you can read through it. Especially if you already taken any basic courses about solid state devices or MOS devices, they always introduce about those very basic parameters like the modulating modulation lambda, what does it mean? And what does it mean like both threshold parameter? This one related to the bow effect and this one is general length modulation effect. And the transconductance parameters as um, they will specify somewhere here. It will be the product between mobility times the oxide capacitance. Um, I will put a link where they describe those parameters more clearly in the video description. Please check it out. Or you can even check it out in a um, video that I explain almost the same thing in Cadence where I talk about the theory how to calculate the DC bias point of the MOSFET and next is the small signal analysis of the MOSFET. Please check them out if you really want to know more about them. And now we already go through the essential stuff in the ATSPICE. Ah, one more thing. So this one is the parameter list for our monolithic MOSFET. But if you go down a little bit, they will talk about the vertical double power MOSFET over here. And they will describe what are the parameters and also there will be a 
table describe all of the name in the parameter list. Okay, so let's go to the video. First, we will create a new schematic, and then we will add a mask. With if you are new to the Edit Files, please also prefer to all the videos that I made about Edit Files. It shows some tricks when we are handling with Edit Files. In this case, I won't explain them and just go straight to the doing stuff. So now we will add the mask F2, and we type N mask. There will be two types of N mask, but we must use we must use N mask for or P must for depends on what type, P channel or N channel. But in our case, in whatever case, N channel or P channel, we must use the N must for because uh, we cannot modify anything with the N must here. With the N must model, we can only import the manufacturer model. But in this case, we can specify the model of the must ourselves. So we choose N must for, click OK. And then we press escape. Now we press control and hold the control, press right click here in the um, spice mo in the spice model. We will name our mos whatever name you like, but I can name it like test n test n channel. And now we will right click with our control, right click only. We will see that there will be the length and there will be the the width. So I put the length to be one micro ohm, the width to be twelve point six nine micro ohm. Why I put them? I will explain them in the next video. In this video, I will just show the step where we add the mouse model. So after I specify the mouse, I can build the whole circuit, and I plan to build the common source resistive load in this case. So I will have a Spice model where we model the mass the MOS ourselves compared with the model that we use in Cadence in the previous video. So please check it out about the Cadence if you are interested in the common source resistive low simulation and calculation related to the MOS in Cadence. Check it out. So yes, that's everything. Now I will start to build the circuit of the common source and resistive load. Okay, now I finished building the configuration of the common source resistive load for our N MOSFET. Uh, we connect the bulk to the source to the ground, so the bulk source both at the same potential level, at the same voltage, so we can avoid the um, what is this? We can avoid the bulk effect. Okay, uh, but we still missing the dot model where we we need to specify. Here we only specify things th those stuff for our MOSFET, only how it connects, only what type of model, what is the length, what is the width, and the rest if we don't specify anything they will use the default value. If you want to know what are the default values you can read through those whole paragraph. And uh, now we need to add the dot model in order to specify our MOS parameters. We can do that by Right click, choose, I think, edit, maybe, or draft, yes, draft, and we choose spice directive, and we can just copy, control copy and control paste inside here. But what we need to pay attention is our name of the model. In our case, it should be test n. If the name are different, it will be, it will be, disaster. So the end mask, we need to keep it specify what type of model we are using, NMOS, diode or whatever. 
uh, for the um, transconductance, I will put it to be 349 micro. Why I put those values in the next video, I will show you. But in this case, I will just put them and do something. Um, VTO equal to 0 0.4. And the rest will be using default value. So for using our MOS, we need to first put the model and MOS4 or PMOS4. After that, right click in order to name our MOS model. And after that, we close the window and we right click again, specify the length, the width, and the rest if you are interested in. And after we specify them, we need to add the dot model card where we need to specify the parameters of the MOS here if you have some. So we specified here. So that's the end of this video. See you in the next video where I will start to doing the DC analysis of the MOS. Uh, before watching that video, you you should, or uh, I advise you to watch the um, common source resistive low theory about MOS in cadence. I put in this video description, please check it out. So you will understand why I put those numbers like this. And see you in the next video. If you find that the video is useful or helpful, please give me a like or subscribe. And um, if you find anything wrong, please also give me a comment. Thank you so much. Goodbye.